Hi guys, hi squaddies, happy, 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 happy new year to each and every one of you. We are so glad to have you. Welcome back. I believe this year is going to be an amazing year for all of us and I just can't wait for it. So yeah guys, if you're new here, if you're watching our videos for the first time or even if you're a regular viewer but you're yet to subscribe, kindly, kindly, please just subscribe for uh, on our channel as it helps us. Don't forget to also like and comment and if you're a regular subscriber and you're viewing us, once again, welcome back. Welcome back. We're very grateful and thankful to have you. And yeah guys, so... Let's get right into it. We are a few days away, a few days away from the release of Prince Harry's book titled Spare. And I can't wait. The anticipation is building up. It's building up, guys, and we cannot wait for it. There are two interviews coming this Sunday before the release of the book, promoting the book. And I cannot wait for that as well. As we're waiting for it, I just wanted to know what the members of the public are thinking what are their thoughts how are they anticipating it how are they preparing for it what do they think of the released interviews what do they think of the book and uh what do they think will be its content what do they think of the general reaction from the british media and the public and the supporters of the royal family and the supporters on this other side so just for us to get a general view and feel and what are our thoughts exactly as we're waiting for this book to come out so guys, today we're just going to be looking at a few tweets and see what guy what do people think. What do people think? Are uh, members of the public sensible? Are they are they just talking, you know, trash coming out of their mouths or are they actually, you know, thinking and reasoning and being, you know, sane, having sanity? So yeah, <laughs> let's just today we're going to be judges and we're going to talk about it and share our opinions, share in your uh, down in the comments. How do you feel? How are you waiting for this? Are you waiting for the book? Are you waiting for the copies to come through? Are you waiting just to read the tweets from the highlights of the book? What are you waiting for? I know I'm waiting for the book to come out so that I can get my own copy and just go through it because I believe this is a book I'm going to just want to read by myself, read through it and just, you know, get a feel for it and just to get a feel of just Harry's life in general and his experiences and what he's gone through because ah, oh, I love that family. I love the Sussex Sussexes so much. I love the whole Sussex squad. I love Lily. I love Archie. I love Megan. I love Megan so much. Oh my god, what a woman. And most importantly, I love Prince Harry. They are an amazing family and I always wish them wish them well in whatever it is that they're doing. So yeah guys, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. I want to first of all start. I'm just gonna start with you know one of the comments that I, I saw, I'm going to just read randomly. One was from Zaire. No one has seen this book yet. The toxic, the hashtag toxic British media won't let the, that truth get in the way of a gaslighting headline. Hashtag spare by Prince Harry. So this is what the headline was saying. What sort of man attacks his own brother in a memoir? Despicable despicable telegraph dot co uh dot uk slash royal family yeah whatever whatever so this the headline is like what sort of man attacks his own brother in a memoir have ha, has anyone read this memoir yet it has not even come out yet but already they have come out guns blazing guns blazing mm? guns blazing they are ready ready to just attack this man just like that just like that and it, it it just it's it's you wonder you know you just wonder because that goes to show how vicious the british media is how vicious they actually are the the memoir is not just released we're waiting for it waiting for it to come out and what what they are you just <laughs> you and what they are saying already is like what sort of man attacks his own brother like prince harry is attacking prince william and we have not even read the books yet there was another comment that i found funny here in response to that one where someone was tweeted what kind of man and his dad in quotes um spoon feeds the press false stories about bro the brother for years you know it can be returned to shay as well you know what kind of man and the father and his dad as well they spoon feed false stories to the press about their own brother for years so w what are you trying to say the book is yet to come out we all agree we don't know what is out what is going to be said 
so you have no right to come out and bring your own speculations here it's just funny guys <laughs> it's just funny so yeah another comment uh someone called Ten tonya lampley say they will hate you when you're good the good reminder us of where we fall short and just like his mother he will continue to care for the unloved and the forgotten while everyone else just sits back and runs their mouth people can run their mouth for days for hours without stopping people can just run their mouth for no apparent reason people have opinions and opinions and a half their mothers have opinions their aunties i'm just gonna bring all that and spout it on you you know this comment it just shows how people will say anything they will hate you when you're good they will hate you when you're good they will hate you when you're good they will hate you when you're bad you cannot even win you know all the time especially especially if you're good they will hate you so why try so hard why try so hard there is no point there is no point but still these people are still good people they are not attacking their family they are saying their side of the story is it not only fair is it not only fair megan said that when there is so much being said out there is it not just right is it not common sense to hear it from us when there's so much story out about us about the two of us by people who they don't even know is it not only right is it not only common sense good common sense for them to be the ones to share their story in what they have experienced themselves in their life because it's their life you know so yeah we are very very looking forward to this you know another comment by d the big question is hmm? we wonder at this why does the royal family british media the conservative uk government and royalists want hashtag prince harry to shut up why is it why are they calling him out for having interviews for releasing his book why are they doing that because there's something they don't want to be said because they want to maintain their image because they're afraid that the truth is going to be spoken and it's going to hurt them they're afraid of the truth the truth has power guys the truth has so much power and they have hidden behind their royal family and their status for a long time and no one has been willing to actually come out and speak of the all the ills and the evilness that is within this one family but this man has come out and spoken out so they are really afraid and that's why they are going to just come at him all the time with criticisms and encourage and entice people to be like you know what come let's a- attack this family let's attack prince harry let's attack meghan markle so that we can make them shut up so that we can make them you know be weak we can remove their voices by attacking them constantly but this guy has not phased prince harry at all he has not phased him and i'm so so glad for that because he is still standing strong for his family yes there are weak moments yes there's times when he's feeling sad and of course that is natural you know because even in the coming interview he clearly says how he wants his family back because this is a man who has feelings and who is hurt with how his family is breaking apart right now but this man will not be silenced and i love it they want him to shut up but he will not and we are not he will not i just love it i love how he is standing up ask yourself why are they coming after this one man to shut up to not speak up all the time why because he has something to say he wants to speak the truth they don't want it hard because why would you be afraid you would not be afraid if you have nothing to hide you would not be afraid you'd be like let him speak all he wants to speak because there is no truth or because you know there's nothing to say but the fact that they are afraid means there is something there guys let's just no no don't be don't be you know let's not be lied to let's not be oblivious to all this let's be smart guys be <laughs> another one called brazen <laughs> this for nine says as if as if it wasn't enough they sent kate's uncle to the media you know Kate Middleton uh, Middleton's uncle slams manipulative Meghan Markle in light of crying saga. Kate Middleton's uncle has launched a scathing attack on Meghan Markle in defense of his niece calling her manipulative in a new interview. So this uncle this 
uncle is coming up and say, defending the niece and saying how he's manipulative even an uncle we know nothing about is just gonna also try and get into the using the uncle to try and make this person's name and it's just like wow Kate Middleton's uncle why couldn't she just come up and say this person is manipulative why doesn't she just come out for herself the uncle I mean ugh, wow I'm I'm just I'm even just tired of seeing that you know another one she says yet again you know it is the people talking then the media amplifying it the media just comes out. Megan Seed will taint our royal family. What? UK IP chief's glamour model lover 25 is suspended from party over racist takes about Prince Harry's wife to be. <laughs> you just wonder. You just wonder. Where do they get these people? Where do they get these people? Where do they? Where do they? Someone uh, called Indigo Dreamer says. It's his life and he has every right to share what he wants. If that hashtag racist royal family, hashtag racist British media, and hashtag racist can't handle it, that's too bad. The hypocrisy and entitlement is disgusting. And if you want to say blind and deaf, that's your right. Ah, I could applaud this. I could applaud this tweet. Because it just, it's, this person who's talking it just has common sense and can clearly see they're not blind, they're not deaf. The royal family, the royal media, all bunch of racists. They want to say what they want to say because they just cannot believe the audacity of this black woman. The audacity of this mixed black woman to just come up against the royal family. They cannot believe their eyes. They cannot believe it. So, and then when the members of the public, especially the British members of the public, come out and defend them. This guy is saying, if you want to be blind and deaf, then fine. You know what? We've washed our hands off. We're not going to sit here and try to convince you. If you want to be blind, if you want to be deaf, if you want to listen to all these false allegations and believe them and eat them up and be like, Meghan is the worst. Prince Harry is the worst. Just because, then you go right ahead. Be blind, be deaf, but we are not going to be. This man has a right to share what he wants. It is his life. It is his family. He wants to come out and share. Please do. Please do Prince Harry. We will tu tune in. We will watch. So just please share it. Share it. If the other guys don't want to listen. They want to come out there and say whatever they want to say. Let them be blind. Let them be deaf. Let them just listen and be spoon fed lies. And believe them. It's on them. It's on them honestly. You know. <laughs> there was this one clip here. Um, I think you can you, you you can easily find it. Uh, where this is a tweet by Judy in the Richmond. She says Megan backing away from Katie's reaction of someone backing away from the abuser. She just remembered not to put her hands up in self defense. Something is going on in that family. If you see that clip very very well, you can clearly see, honestly, that she is backing up. She is you know a bit defensive, a bit like doesn't want to do anything wrong like she's afraid like she it's a very tense and awkward moment where she just backs away when kate comes near that is instinctive because you are used to this person maybe yelling and shouting at you or just treating you very very poorly you cannot fake that you cannot fake that at all that just shows the type of person that she is you know um <laughs> someone called oh yeah formerly duke of edinburgh fan <laughs> very funny hashtag spare by prince harry cannot be as shocking as hashtag king charles the third authorized bio by jonathan Dim dimbleby where he trashed his father called his mother cold and said he was bullied into marrying hashtag princess diana the toxic british media forgets there are receipts we are not stupid People are not stupid, guys. People are not foolish. We do not forget. Not many years ago. Not many years ago. When he broke out, when he came out that, you know, uh, Prince of Wales was having an affair. Prince Charles then was having an affair. This man was doing, went on, you know, everything he could do, did everything he could do at that time to save face. 
you know, you you could see if you've watched The Crown or if you're, if you want to see a reenactment of sorts of that whole period, you can go watch The Crown. Even though they try not to vilify anyone, but you can just see who is the one who is hurt, Princess Diana, and who is the one who is, you know, just does whatever it is that it wants to do. So we do not forget, people do not forget there are receipts. Even if spare might be shocking, the man, what uh, King Charles did in his bio, he trashed his father, called his mother all sorts of names and said she was called an unfeeling and said how he really did not even love Princess Diana, how he was forced into marrying her. Just basically, you know, said all kinds of... I don't even want to use the word I want to use. Said all kinds of negative things about Princess Diana, the mother of his two beautiful children. Not very back then. We can remember, we can still remember, you know, guys. And you can see, you can see the biography, you can see a uh, few things where he, he's written, where he went on television to broadcast things, you know. So we do not forget, we do not forget, you know. This guy is tw- tweeted it once again and said, King Charles uh, reported anger is ironic, considering that he publicly revealed family secrets and grudges during the epic war of the Wales that erupted in the 1990s between himself and Princess Diana. Spare by Prince Harry follows his father. Prince, uh, Prince Charles then, King Charles now, you know, went on a, like, a vicious campaign, re- revenge against Princess Diana and the palace just went head on with all the power and the might of the royal family and the institution attacked this woman, Princess Diana, with all their might. They said horrible things about her. He basically just went public and said how he never loved her, never felt anything for her, was just forced, how it was just... Can you imagine how unfeeling that would be to attack this woman who now no longer has even any protection anymore? If she decides she wants to live her life, she's going to be followed around by paparazzi. She's going to be hounded by the, the uh, British media time and time again. But back then, they were not criticizing uh, King Charles, were they? They did not. They supported him, in fact. So now when it is Prince Harry's turn to tell his side of the story, they are just coming at him. And we do not forget, you cannot be a hypocrite, guys. Don't be lied to. Don't. There's no excuse for this. This is just showing how King Charles, Prince William, they're just hypocrites. Hypocrites. King Charles, you at your time were allowed to give your version of events, tell your story, you know. And even while you're telling your story, you made Princess Diana out to just be an awful person. You wanted people to sympathize with you by saying how you know how bad your family was. All these things to just make yourself look good to ensure that people don't look down on the next king, the future king. So now you are the last person to talk. The last person to talk, I tell you. People are just raging about the book that is coming out and I love it. I love how they're raging. Of course, they're those who are want nothing to do with it and are just criticizing it even before, but... Uh, we have seen this a lot, a lot, a lot of times. We're used to it by now and we are choosing to ignore. We're not even going to be faced by it because the people who have raised their voices, more people are opening their eyes. Little by little, it's taking them a long, long time. But slowly they're opening up their eyes to see the kind of family the royal family is. It is no one to look up to. It is one that is vicious, hideous, and they do whatever they can to get what they want. They don't care who they destroy along the way. They do not care at all. So people are like, I can't wait to get my book. I love it. I love how people are raging on. Uh, Elaine Insight says, hashtag royal family, hashtag racism. Not having changed with the times, royal family members are still trying to apply traditional, unequal, and biased ways to a society that's dispensing with tradition. They're still trying to do the same old things. Same old things. The traditions that have, they feel like they're justified, you know, in being... That they're right all the time. That you need to 
humble yourself and be under under the royal family do nothing against them listen to what you're told follow the instructions impeccably just follow and go through with everything without complaining and it just it's not gonna work anymore it's not gonna work and i applaud prince harry for not falling into just those times because let me tell you they will not be here today they will not have the beautiful home that they have they will not be you know the strong family that they are right now if they chose to just sit there and listen and just follow that you know like look at this look at this look at the beautiful family that they do have Vuyelua Vixen N Cube says no one is taking this away from him from him. He created this, he built this, he should be proud because he never thought that he would have it and he deserves it. And I could not agree more. Just look at the beautiful family. He has such an amazing family and I just wow. Wow 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 wow. I love it. I love it so so much. So yeah, so yeah guys, what do you think? There are many 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 tweets that I did love, you know. Uh another one uh says Alexis says Harry and Meghan using their Netflix documentary to lay out the relationship between the royal family and the UK press was a masterstroke. They have effectively made the invisible contract useless. Everything they do just proves Harry and Meghan are telling the truth because they're not afraid anymore. They're not afraid anymore. They are not receiving any kind of help, any kind of protection, any kind of financial assistance from the royal family. So these are people who literally, they are telling the truth because there's nothing they have to lose. Nothing they have to lose. So they're just saying everything. They're telling the truth. Telling the truth. And this is not a man who has reached a point where he's like, I'm just smeared on this family because I want nothing to do with them. No. Still, he wants to be a part of the family. He just wants them to take accountability for what they did, what they did to him and his wife. And what they've con consistently continued to do. Ha, oh, guys. This just hits me in the feel. Hits me in the feelings. In the feelings. Ha, oh, so yeah, guys. Here are just a few more tweets. Just... It makes you think. It just makes you think. Because people give their opinions. And especially those who want them to shut up. And want them to just not say anything against the royal family. It's like, if people have done wrong, they've committed crimes. Would you not want them to, you know, be held accountable? What kind of world would you live if criminals are allowed to just roam around free. And doing whatever they want because people are not allowed to speak up. Those are the olden days where you could be afraid and you would want to protect maybe your family or if you know you're in a family where you have murderers and you have people who are like kidnappers or they do, they're in a gang or whatever it is and they're hurting people of the community, you'd want to speak out. You'd, you'd want people to speak out against them. You'd want them to be held accountable because can you imagine if it, was, if it was another family and this person is on the loose hurting your people, the neighborhood or whatever, you'd want for them to be held accountable, for the law to be on your side, for you to be able to speak out against them or for them to be able to, you know, pay for what they've done. But this is the royal family. Whatever it is they do, they cannot be held accountable. They're not going to be able to pay for it, you know. They're not going to be arrested. Nothing is going to happen to them no matter what we do. So what are you left with? They can release negative information. They can release a well-targeted smear campaign against one family. And they can be relentless about this and put all the powers that they have. So what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You come out and you say your side. You say your side and those who are blind I don't want to hear because there's always going to be those people. You leave them be because there's nothing you can do about them. But you stand with the truth and knowing that you've said the truth, then that is what will set you free and will make you happy and will make you live your life, you know, in a good way. Because Prince, I'm sure if there was open communication between Prince William and Prince Harry and the King Charles, they would maybe be able to talk this out and hash this out. But since there is no, they're speaking through representatives and whatever. 
this is what Prince Harry has to resort to. To go out, to be broadcasted, and to say he said for the whole world to listen. And then the royal family can do the same. They can respond or they can come out and say we are going to respond to this in private because they decided to respond in private and sit down for talks and talk about a way forward because they need to realize we're not going to allow things just be swept under the rug as it has always been done, as has been the tradition, as has been the case for years and years. Now, people are going to stand up for what they believe in. They're going to call you out if you're wrong. So things need to change. You cannot just sit down and keep quiet and hope that it goes away. Make up stories that we are not blind anymore. We can see. We can see when you're trying to fabricate stories and make things up to make this poll look bad so that it diverts the attention away from you. We can actually see that. And we are not okay with it and we do not encourage it and we will never be okay with it. So yeah, guys. That is just it. That is just it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? There's another tweet here. There's a lot at stake. And there's a lot at stake. For these two people, the truth must be screamed to the top of the mountains because I don't want to be doing this for Lily Diana in the future. I will be 70 in 20 years. Let's go, her relate bear. Somebody is saying, yeah, we do not want this to be a case for Lily's future and Ash's future. So let them lay it, let them lay the groundwork, the surface. Let us just break down these barriers, these walls this family has put up. We are going to raise our voice and call them out and not be scared and afraid. We are behind you, Prince Hart. We are behind you, Meghan Markle. We are behind you, the Sussexes. We are so behind you. And we love you. We love you so much, you know. Another tweet here that I really love said, Imagine having the nuptial a grown-ass man what he can and cannot say. When he can and cannot say it. Harry is not your punching bag anymore. He does not deserve... He does not give... Um, shit about the titles it's about respect you know look at these titles people are just coming out just <sighs> yeah yeah guys this is where he was talking about it becomes a point where silence is betrayal silence is betrayal harry is not holding back please guys i don't want to uh, keep going for very long very long so yeah, you can just read through the tweets that I have shown you and just let me know what you think. What do you think in the comments below, you know? So yeah, guys, that is all for today. That is all for today. I am eagerly waiting for spare. Let me know what you're waiting for, eagerly waiting to hear the interviews. I just love it. I love how they are speaking up and speaking out and kudos. Good job to you. We love you. We pray for you. We hope nothing but the best things for your family just a blessing continue flourishing well this other family is just wondering why we cannot put these people down it's because you cannot put kick a good man you cannot put a good man down that will never be the case that will not happen so yeah guys i love you i love you so much take care and be happy and thank you guys so much for watching we love you until next time